Hello, so welcomes everyone, and Wolf here with more Star Wars The Old Republic as a Serah Sith warrior. Where we last left off, we had arrived on Korriban at the Sith Academy and retrieved our first war blade. And now our overseer Tremel here has asked us to interrogate three prisoners and decide their fate. Which is what we're going to do. Decide what's the quickest way to go. Probably this way. One more chirp from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals, too. Dire cat, frog dog, waking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jayla Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. Then I will repay his faith by sticking to my mission. You should know this situation is highly unusual. Normally an acolyte goes off will for the interrogation. Overseer Tremel, at these three shipped him for you. He thinks you're the next coming of Exar Kun. But you ought to know, Tremel ain't the only one paying attention to you. Now, these three prisoners have been transferred here for your inspection. You've got to interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. As it should be. Ah, fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me! Just do whatever you're gonna do! Let me make this plain as day. If you don't cooperate, I will kill you. I'm not afraid to die. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me! So, you're telling me you're not a Republic assassin? I'm not political. I work for whoever pays. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat? Which do you choose? Hmm. I choose neither. Neither, actually. She could prove useful. Send her to Imperial Intelligence. I won't work for free. Huh. You spared her. Interesting. Please. I am a fellow Sith. Judge me with an open mind and grant me trial by combat, I beg you. Pipe down, scum. You will speak when spoken to. This part of Waste is Dabotech, once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake, and they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I don't do charity work. Feel the weight of a weapon in your throat. I die a disgrace. Good. I won't have to look at his sad weathered face anymore. Thank you. That man served for a long time. You should be more respectful. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Bregg, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila magnam unya kamna lebek. Are you trying to tell me you've led a clean life? 
Naki oya makmak. Nebaga imana. Naki naya. Bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, <sighs> well, that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. I'll admit, I've done this before, and I know what the choices I've chosen uh, mean for us. But as I say, we will be trying to play this as a member of the dark side. We will be making quite ruthless choices as they're presenting to us in the main storyline. But I don't want to be just an all-out ruthless killer for no reason. I want to have a method to whatever madness we may have. That's how I want to play it. Whether or not it turns out that way is another thing entirely, of course. Let's see what Tremel thinks. Tap my heels together and go home. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial Intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. Thank you, Overseer. I'm glad you approve. What's more important is that Darth Barris would approve. Now, Devotech, the former warrior. He wanted combat, but you struck him down. Perfect. The man was utterly useless. I took no pleasure in killing him. And why would you? It's like taking out the trash. You just do it. You don't think about it. Once something is used up, it should be eradicated. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture, even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. The ripple from even a tiny stone can flow a great distance. Wow, wow. Look who just turned deep and insightful. It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? Hmm. Each time, each prisoner, you made the best possible decision. You may yet be able to challenge Vemrin for Darth Barris's attention. To celebrate? A small reward. Thank you very much, Overseer. Thank yourself, Acolyte. It's performances like this that might just beat the extreme odds we're facing. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames and wait for the beast to come for you. You think that's enough information? How about you tell me about this beast? All you need to know is that it's ferocious and bloodthirsty, and in no way is it a trial for a normal acolyte. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marco Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. Thank you, Overseer. In level 8 from that, a complimentary experience booster, and a new chest piece. Let us continue then. We must take a taxi to the lower wilds to continue our quest slaying the beast. Feels a little unusual avoiding all the side quests. It's kind of... Ooh, hello, that's unusual. 
on these early planets you kind of can go on autopilot once you've done it so many times. And I've been here quite often, playing various um, Sith, both Warriors and Inquisitors. Sure. Because um, that's normally the taxi route you have to take. Because this one isn't unlocked. I wonder if we're still going to continue the quest. We may need to actually move our taxi over here. Because normally you need to unlock the various um, transport droids to unlock their routes. But I think due to the recent patch, we don't need to up until the... Yeah, it looks like we need to... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we do. Follow route is confirmed. Up until the newest expansion that's coming out in October, I think they've really made the game easier for you to get around and level up with this 12 times experience. I say we'll taxi over and then we'll use our rocket boost to get back to where that other taxi air position is. There we go. Last few squads that entered the tombs never came back. We have our orders, Private. Ours is not to question but to obey. They say the tombs drive people who aren't force sensitive insane. I've heard the other squads are still down there howling mad and killing each other. Those men didn't have proper protection. Lord Renning has assured me that these new stimulants will protect us from the tombs effects. Oh, is that a... oh dear. I think I may have accidentally purchased a willpower. Yeah, I bought a willpower dueling sword from the uh, GTN. Whoops. That was a mistake on my part. Oh well, we won't equip it. That's... That's what that's, they said about whoop. the oral bands. And the implants. At level 9, we have so many things, um, so many other abilities we need to re like learn now. We can upgrade our Fisher Slash, twice for that matter, Force Charge, twice, Smash. Uh, we can learn Ravage, which is a channeled ability, performs a series of lightsaber attacks that deals 427 to 473 weapon damage over 3 seconds. Standard and weak enemies are additionally stunned for the duration of the effect. Strikes with both weapons if you're dual wielding. And that what? Cannot be interrupted. Force Scream, which is a ranged attack. Blast the target with a force enhanced scream, dealing 158 to 171 kinetic damage. Standard and weak enemies are stunned for 4 seconds. Unleash. Uh, purges, incapacitating, and movement impairing effects. Very good in PvP. <laughs> Saber Ward. Raises the lightsaber ward, increasing melee and ranged defenses by 50%, and absorbing 25% of the damage taken from force and tech attacks for 12 seconds. Okay, okay, upgrade the force scream. And sweeping slash. Slashes up to 6 enemies within 5 meters of you for 68 to 76 weapon damage. Attacks with both weapons if dual wielding. Now I don't think you normally meant to get Sweeping Slash so early. But again, it's another update since I've been away. And apparently you get it now this early. Oh, you can hear the humming in the distance. That humming is the sound of a data cron, which can increase our stats by a various amount. There's normally some hidden around each planet. I don't know where all of them are, in fact I don't know where very many of them are. But I have encountered some through my playthroughs. And the ones we find on our journey we will um, unlock basically. So we'll go get that Datacron, and then we'll find the tomb of Mark Aragnos. Ah, looks like it's a willpower Datacron, which is a shame. I'd rather it be strength. You've located a Datacron, an ancient technology once used by the Infinite Empire. 
State of Chronos are created for a singular purpose to improve someone's will attribute. This one is still active. Plus two willpower. You can feel the increased power cursing through your body. Perhaps there is more to be found. And then they give you an updated codex entry. So if you're interested in any of the history of the Infinite Empire, hello. Got some attention there, which I did not want. If you want to know more about the Infinite Empire, then those datacrons will tell you a lot more about it. Here is the tomb. See, so both uh, Sith Warriors and Sith Inquisitors need to come inside. For various reasons. I think Inquisitors need to come in here to find a ruin or a relic uh, through this way. We need to go find the beast. I don't think there's a... I don't think there's a quest here, like a bonus quest, but we'll try. Oh, it's alive. I missed you twice. I missed you three times, holy hell. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that is actually a bonus quest. Oh well. Just one more. the bonus quest complete. So you sometimes you'll see that entering story area prop up. It just means that unless someone's in my party, they cannot join this instance. This is unique to uh, myself. Whereas someone else who may be on the same quest, another Sith warrior, may enter and I obviously can't join with them. Unless I'm in their party, of course. So, this is the um, ancient Sith carving we've been told to meditate at. Meditate at the flames, they said. And what's that sound? The beast, of course. Activate our Saber Ward and let's get cutting. Of course, being level 9, it was very little conquest, um, very little um, conflict. We might as well use our Quick Travel ability to get ourselves back over to the uh, Sith Academy and let Tremel know that we succeeded. to join a guild there. Yeah, I did decline. Speaking of giant, sometimes I do just misclick sometimes. I was just double checking. Well, look who's here. Remember me? You need to move out of my way. I put myself in your way, buddy. On purpose. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. Unfortunately for you, I think you're mistaken. Oh. Did hit me with a bleeding effect. Not very nice. No! Hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. 
What they're saying about you, totally true. So, strong. I don't want to die. Ask for no mercy and expect none. Die like a Sith. I failed you, Vemrin. <laughs> We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Coriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Tell me what to expect, Overseer. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. Go. We completed the, the quest, Slaying the Beast. Provided some new um, dueling pants, which aren't as good as the ones we're wearing right now. But these are probably level 5, I'm guessing. Also, we got a nice amount of experience once again. Gain level 10. And quite close to level 11 as well. Summon a Hut Hollow statue. Sweeping Slash and Vicious Slash have upgraded. And uh, now we can actually choose our advanced class. I'll leave that for the next video. Oh, let's just park ourselves next to a uh, tremel here. Get a um, get a selfie, I guess. <sighs> I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, I'll end this video here. And when we come back, we will choose our advanced class. I say um, we'll most likely be going Marauder, unless I suddenly have a change of heart in the next five minutes or so. And then we will go speak to Darth Barris, who is on the second floor, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in the top right there. So, this of course has been Anforth with Star Wars The Old Republic, with our Sith Warrior. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye now.